Nancy, of course, big news this afternoon. The news we we were hoping to hear, but we really didn't want to hear, was the remains found last week by a meter reader are those of two-year-old Kaylee Anthony, found uh, in her neighborhood, literally 15 doors away from where the remains were found. Uh, this afternoon, Dr. G, the uh, Orange County Medical Examiner, uh, said those are the remains of those of Kaylee Anthony. There was no trauma to any of the bones, and uh, the uh, remains were identified through DNA and uh, the profile of little Kaylee Anthony. What do we know about the reaction of grandparents George and Cindy Anthony? Well, right now, what we know is that uh, their uh, attorney, Brad Coleman uh, Conway, held a, a news conference just a couple of minutes ago. He said the uh, Anthonys are grieving right now. They hope no other parents or grandparents ever have to go through like this. Their pastor, Shane Stutzman, is with them right now at their house out in Hope Spring Drive. I want to go out to Mike Brooks, former Fed with the FBI. We understand that the uh, meter reader, uh, sources say that he says this bag is the same one he saw back in August. Response. I tell you what, he spoke out today and he says he's nothing but a concerned citizen. But Nancy, I have a real problem. There were three calls, at least two calls for police service and one call into a crime line. Now, the one that bothers me is August 13th. There were calls on August 11th, 12th and 13th. What they need to do, what the Orange County Sheriff's Department needs to do, they need to talk to Mr. Crunk. Get the recording that when he called into the communications division, find out what time the call was dispatched, what time the deputy arrived there, and he met with him. Now, I want to know what he told the deputy, and did the deputy investigate the report of the bag that he pointed out to him? And after, after the end of every call for police service, Nancy, you come back with a disposition. Either it's 10 no report, you get a report, or they type something into their onboard computer. They need to find out exactly what that is.